things are going to happen that we just can't foresee. You have to be a huge pessimist not to find that profoundly good news. And even experts have a hard time explaining why a particular move is either beneficial or problematic. So there are many ways to build qubits. Some of the most popular at the moment are superconducting qubits, where you have some specially engineered systems at low temperatures made out of superconductors. Instead of just having information being either a zero or a one, you need superpositions of zero. So what's different about quantum computing? You can actually effectively spin your penny. Okay, so give it a try. Spin your penny. Okay, so while it's spinning, if I ask you, is the penny a zero or a one? Both. It's both, right? It's in a combination of both. And then the other very um, powerful ones are ion traps, so just atoms trapped in uh, electromagnetic fields in vacuum, which are very well isolated from the environment, so they can keep their quantum coherence for very long times. How far can we push this? So with one gate operation, I can act on all these guys with one clock cycle. Hey, I need to do this more, so you go make a more radical superposition. Let's look into it. The public cloud is primarily used by Amazon Web Services, which is one of the largest cloud service providers. Very natural qubits are spins, usually in solids. The spin is the most simple quantum to level system, and if you can manipulate it in a solid state matrix, then you have some very good qubits. The world's first commercial quantum computer, the D Wave 1 in 2011, with 128 qubits. keep their quantum coherence for very long times. China is not spending anywhere near what we do militarily, but a lot of defense going forward will, will depend on AI, on quantum, uh, quantum uh, physics, on that sort of thing. So uh, Washington is deeply concerned. And it's sinister. Right? But quantum mechanics is sufficiently bizarre and counterintuitive and uh, has such unexpected implications that people still don't fully understand it. In 2017, Xi Jinping announced the government's bold new plans to an audience of foreign diplomats. China would catch up with the U.S. in artificial intelligence by 2025 and lead the world by 2030. An intensified cooperation in frontier areas such as digital economy, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and quantum computing. Room temperature is 300 Kelvin. As you get down all the way to the bottom of the fridge, it's at 10 million Kelvin. Oh, wow. are going to happen that we just can't foresee.